Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video and this is going to be my review for Supergirl Season 2, Episode 17, entitled Distant Sun. So this episode was amazing, probably one of my best episodes of Supergirl that I've seen in ages and maybe even my best Supergirl episode overall because there were so many amazing things. Kevin Smith did a smashing job. I don't care what anyone else says, this episode was brilliant. So I'm going to be going through all the good stuff and also there is a few negatives but I will slightly go over that but I prefer to go over the positives. So an amazing opening scene with Kara and Monel as we see Kara wake up and a chef Monel who has been learning to cook by the cookbook Joy which is a real life brand so it's kind of funny and it was very romantic and I loved Kara's reaction it was like hash browns and bacon so she kind of went crazy over that and that was really cool and it was kind of cool how they ended that scene off when it was the alien attacking National City and Monel was like, oh, I'll come fight with you. And he was like, oh, I left it there. Oh, how do you get changed so fast? So that was kind of amusing. But okay, so the next one I want to say is all the Kara and Monel scenes during this episode were excellent, especially the fight scene between Kara and Monel, which was really funny as he was being mind controlled and he couldn't control his body, but he was able to control his mind so he could talk. So that was really, really good. And I really enjoyed that. Maybe one of my favorite fight scenes during the whole of Supergirl season two. And it was just really amusing and especially them apologizing for punching each other, especially that last one when he's normal and she just bangs him in the face. And that was so good. I loved that. And she was like, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So I really like that and excellent acting by Chris Wood and Melissa Benoist. So one negative of this episode was the Sam Wood spit with Maggie's ex-girlfriend. I didn't really see the relevance of it towards the main storyline. So I kind of didn't really like the Emily character. I felt like she was a bit of a waste and they sort of wasted a bit of time bringing her in as she was in it for a very brief amount of time and I didn't see the relevance of it overall. So Queen Rhea and King Logand were excellent once again. I think they are one of the best Supergirl villains that we've had. I'm really especially enjoying Terry Hatcher's portrayal of Queen Rhea. I love their reaction to the bar scene. They're like, you're a servant. And that was a really good contradiction to what he was on Daxum. So I loved how Logand found some kindness within his heart, yet Queen Rhea was a savage as we will touch on a bit later. However, my last negative of the episode was Queen Rhea's kryptonite daggers kind of looked like a kid's toy. They just didn't look sharp. They were like going into Kara, but it just didn't feel like it was a real sort of weapon. So I think they could have done a better job. Maybe they can enhance that sometime in the next few episodes because they kind of looked like they were just Power Ranger swords or something. So yeah, they were cool, but they just didn't look too good. So Monel was being taken away by his mum and dad to be obviously the king of Daxam. So it was really emotional and Melissa Benoist portrayed it so good when she was saddened by losing Monel and she was like, I can't lose Monel. Like Monel was saying, Oh, I can't lose you earlier. Let's run away. It was a nice contrast to that as she was saying, Oh, I can't lose Monel and it was really, really emotional and I think I nearly cried. It was so good. I love Melissa Benoist's portrayal of Cara Danvers especially and also Supergirl of course. But I really like the relationship side to her and Monel as it's really, really fun and it's cool to see how they do react in these type of situations. So a very, very, very strong fight scene during the Daxamite ship, which was really cool with Supergirl and obviously John Jones, who was portrayed as Supergirl at first, and it was quite cool to see. You could notice if you look carefully with the arms crossed, because that's what uh, Jean does. So if you picked up on that, that was well on you. And then obviously they were against Queen Rhea and King Largand, which was a very, very strong fight scene in my opinion. And it was very well choreographed. So the last thing is at the end, I was kind of expecting it when she was like, you have betrayed me to Logand, And I was like, she's definitely going to stab him because that's what happens in every movie or every TV show when someone goes really Really close to you and says something bad about you they always stab you so I was like yeah he's gonna die and he did die but hopefully there is some sort of Daxamite technology to bring him back because I really did like his character but we will have to see and I think Rhea is a really good villain and she is full-on savage and she doesn't mind even killing her husband and that's kind of psycho but anyway guys if you did enjoy this video please be sure to drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys later goodbye strong it doesn't make us weak tongue tied
to service like Shabri. 